Hi everyone, I'm Caroline from the Writing Development Centre and I'm here to have a chat with you about note taking from reading, beginning with why do we take notes when we read? Well probably the most obvious answers are firstly to develop our knowledge and understanding of a topic and secondly to remember that knowledge so if we want to use our notes as a revision aid later down the line. But at university, it's not just about learning and remembering information and not recognising that can lead to you becoming the human photocopier. At university, you'll be using your reading to develop your own thinking and ideas so that you can tackle assignment questions and tasks without merely repeating information that you've read elsewhere. You'll be using the material that you draw from your reading in order to formulate arguments, consider issues and suggest recommendations and solutions. You'll also be looking at how existing arguments have been constructed. Where's the evidence come from? Has any evidence been omitted? How well have arguments been put together? What kind of data is being used? Where's that data come from? How's that data been analysed? How convincing are existing arguments and how might they help you address the task that you've been given? To avoid copying out swathes of information, which takes ages by the way, and to help you develop your own thinking, I've got three top tips for you when you are not taken from your reading. Tip number one is take a strategic approach. What do you need your reading to do for you? List down the questions you are looking for your reading to answer. Tip number two, match your strategy to your purpose. So if your purpose is to develop a broad overview of a topic, including getting some definitions of key terms down, maybe all you need to do is have a look at the introduction. If you are looking to get a broad overview of someone's argument, then maybe looking at the introduction and the conclusion and scanning the first line of every paragraph would be enough. Tip number three. Instead of just copying out quotations and underlining things, think about what's driving you to do that. What are you going to use that for? Do you agree with it? Disagree with it? But how are you going to use it ultimately to answer the question or address the task that you've been given? Well, many thanks for watching and good luck in your studies.